last hour, we broke down today's upcoming target interest rate decision, which would come about 2 o'clock, we believe. While inflation has been the central topic in this year's presidential election, other financial issues are front and center as well. Okay, so joining us, financial instructor Michael Mazarin the, from the Retirement Education Foundation, the voice of reason. We're taking all <laughs> politics out of this. Uh, uh, but the, the discussion is, and because we know when it comes to political races, both sides want to make you feel emotions. I want to get you fired up and upset or excited and maybe make you a little nervous about mm -hmm. the economy uh, one way or the other. If this person does this, this person going to do this. Um, what do we need to be worried about? So in terms of what to be worried about, first and foremost, look in the mirror. How are we feeling? If we're feeling really, really anxious about this election because, well, if, if that person wins, I feel like that might happen, or if this person wins, that might happen, then these emotions are probably going to lead us to making a mistake, whether it's changing your investment allocation in your portfolio or you know, rushing to buy or sell property because you feel like rates might go up or down or property prices might go up or down. If we're making these really big decisions while we're having anxiety and, and afraid for what the outcomes might look like, nine times out of 10, we're gonna look back in a couple of years and realize, yeah, that was not the right choice to be making, but I made it back then when I was really panicking. So don't worry. So don't worry and really try to educate yourself. And it, I mean, it's difficult because, you know, both sides have their own spins to these things. So any source of as non-biased education as you can get is really, really important, especially in years like election years. It is very difficult, too, because, I mean, every ad we're playing, every ad mm -hmm. that you open up on the social media, um, <laughs> you've got one side telling you that the other side is yeah. going to uh, destroy everything. But we've seen, Michael, in you, you mentioned this the last time you were in. Over time, regardless of which party wins, uh, if you stay the course, you, you're much better off than if you have some reactionary uh, sort of action towards the market. 100%, because over time, these policies can impact taxes, they can impact inflation, they can impact the GDP. But when you zoom out and look at decades, decades on top of decades, the companies that make up the stock market are really, really good at making money. And what that means is they're going to keep growing, whatever the policies are, and they're going to keep growing their stock price. The market's going to keep appreciating over the long run. So if someone's in their 20s, 30s, 40s, their early 50s, to plug your ears, increase your contributions to your 401ks <laughs> yes. and your Roth IRAs, and let the market do its job. Now, if you're in your mid to late 50s or early 60s and you think retirement's around the corner, it might be a different story. It might be time to, okay, figure out, do I have enough, do I not have enough? And that's where the education is really, really important. Is there a, a, a somebody, is there a scenario, Michael, in which somebody does need to pay attention to very specific policy, and we're not going to break down all these different uh, promises that people are making. Oh, come or... on, let's all. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but is there something if you are in a certain tax bracket or a certain income bracket that you should be looking at political policy when it comes to presidential so, moves that they can make that would impact your little household? You know, both parties are proposing policies that would impact different tax brackets. So, uh, you know, if, if, a, if a policy is targeting specifically higher income earners, if you're a higher income earner, maybe pay more attention to that particular policy proposal. If you're not, it might not, it might not impact you. And so really trying to get a sense of, you know, number one, what are they promising? But also we have to keep in mind that all these promises need to make their way through Congress as well. Right. And so they can promise a lot of things. And we see time and time again, a lot of those promises don't get fulfilled. And it's either, you know, the, the, the president's doing or maybe Congress is doing to not let that get passed. Yeah, right. I mean, it's not a dictatorship. Right, right? exactly. There you go. Uh, Michael, uh, education is so important, so how can people get educated with you? So we've got lots of resources online. We have white papers, we have webinars, we have calculators and quizzes, a lot of fun stuff online. You can find us at refedu.org. The financial guy says a lot of fun stuff. That's right. <laughs> refedu.org. <laughs> refedu.org. Oh, Michael, thank you. Of course. Thanks, Good buddy. Stuff. Appreciate it.